Since Kovacs crashes more than your sober girlfriend, Gina start, no problem, five minutes, tidin, 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 problem, and Gina kaput. I thought I'd place all the things a beginner would need to get started. Everything from optimizations, basic settings, and how to import playlists, themes, and sound packs. NVIDIA settings. Outside of Kovacs, there are basic optimizations we can do. I won't take much of your time. You can feel free to copy these settings and make sure to update your drivers. More than this, I do ultimately recommend optimizing your entire PC. I know it takes some time but it's probably will help your pc universally so spend some time doing it i'll link two very in-depth videos in the description but if you just want a quick short guide that mainly focuses on kovacs and its settings continue watching disabling full screen optimization pretty simple you want to go into your steam folder go to steam apps common fps aim chainer and then find the exe right click properties compatibility and click here disable full screen optimizations change dpi settings and put this one to application and you're pretty much done now i want to go through on how to import crossers themes and sound packs firstly you can get all these themes and resources out of my discord channel now moving into kovacs to import a playlist from my github you copy the code go to online playlist and simply copy and paste it in here if you want to import themes you want to find it at this location and simply drag and drop the files you want then load up kovacs go to video load and find the one you have downloaded for sound packs it's actually a very similar process you have to go to this destination and do the same once in kovacs you want to open up sounds and listen to something that suits you you can also mess around with some of the pitch sounds and i recommend something that stands out even if you're listening to music or staring at some of those amazing anime skins kovacs recently added some basic sensitivity rules considering centimeter per 360. I made a sensitivity guide recently and I'll link it here. However, some good things to keep in mind is how it's being measured. Centimeter per 360 simply means how sensitive your mouse is to movement. So the higher your number is, the faster your sense is and can be used to universally identify what sense somebody is using. I recommend a range between 25 to 40 centimeters for all games. Also a pro tip, click this cogwheel to get your centimeter per 3. 360. Which FOV do I use? FOVs are really simple. Despite the game you play or whatever you're trying to achieve, I always recommend putting this to Overwatch. As this FOV best matches with most monitor sizes. It used to be 90 on older, smaller monitors, but now it's actually 103, which is the one I recommend. I can also note that 120 is solid for people who play a lot of target switching or maybe they have some shaking issues when they're tracking. Now, which theme do we use? This is a very hot topic, not only because some people believe crossers and themes and etc. doesn't really matter, and it's sort of true. It's a small percentage of what makes up your aim. But a study published in 2018 tells us about colors and how we learn from them, which ones draw our eyes' attentions, and much more. I'll leave it in the description if you want to read, but of course, I just made ChatGPT summarize it for you guys. And it seems that red is solid for learning, while a blue background offers more calmness, so that could be something if you're like shaking like a madman and it's something i'm actually playing around with currently now i'll just go through all of my basic settings in kovacs and why i use them all right so while in kovacs you want to click settings let's go through each setting and what they do visual theme here's just a quick place you can change themes as you like override scenario visuals now this is basically if the scenario creator had put in different visuals and this basically forces whatever visuals you have sensitivity we've talked about vertical sensitivity locked or horizontal I recommend keeping this on or otherwise your Y and X axis will be different inverted mouse well that's up to you zoom sense multiplier I don't really use zoom so I don't recommend you do either I recommend keeping this one off FOV we've talked about crosshairs you can download some of them off my discord now FPS is actually interesting because most people recommend you put 999 but I don't want my PC running like that all the time so I just put 401 and I think I don't notice a huge difference menu FPS you can just put this to 60 keybinds you can put whatever you want I'll quickly go through mine most notably that I use is like F2 restart and that's pretty much it at the end here. Weapons, however, is kind of important. I want you to remove show weapon and I also want you to remove hit scan graphics visible. This will remove that annoying little laser beam some people have. If you scroll down a little bit, 
remove crosshair bloom as well as this sort of makes it open and close when you shoot. Uh, here's another one that I find people have all the time. I want you to remove shoot, pressed and released sounds and also reload sounds if you want. This will just make it way clearer when you're hitting and not hitting and also don't not cause you such a crazy headache while you're playing Kovacs. Hit markers is personally up to you. This is what I use both for head and normal. I use the X that comes default and a red one. For the video settings now, I personally use full screen windowed. Y is just easier to alt tab. Put the highest refresh rate you have. Resolution scale is just 100. Turn off V-Sync, turn off anti-aliasing. If you want, you can have FXAA as well. Post processing off, shadows off, off. I put this off, off. Undershopping filtering, you can use for or off. I just use off. This is important though. Put scene color to medium or high, otherwise, the targets won't glow if you have that setting available. This one is very personal. The default is 2.2, as it says, but just play around with this one and have something that is bright, but also not too bright, obviously have this to zero this is very interesting i think it has something to do with cpu and gpu i think if you're more cpu bound you should use enabled and if you're more gpu bound you should use enabled plus boost but ultimately i don't think it's a huge difference so moving on to visuals now this is obviously very personal but the first thing i want you to do is click off head gibbs this makes it so those annoying robots don't just die and fall to pieces but just instantly get removed bolt hold durations i know some people like this but i really recommend putting it to zero so you can focus up on the actual target high quality textures also recommend just keeping it off especially if you run, run a low-end pc here's where you would load in your theme here's where you can customize your theme you can also do way different things that you can see uh that doesn't have an effect you can see has an effect on whatever you want uh, moving on here is the most important part of the entire video which is you know anime skins here you can change the enemy colors and a lot of people have talked about this is how do i change the glow how do i make them glow for example you click it you click the color to choose the color and at the bottom here there's a glow up so you can just choose this i recommend putting somewhere between like 10 to 50 maybe something like that is fine override just makes it so you override whatever the senior creator has in mind with your own settings change color on the crosser the first video i ever made is very interesting whenever you put your crosser on the target it will change to whatever color you have i don't recommend most people use this but if you're more advanced and you struggle with for example visual confirmation or knowing if you're on target or not you could play around with this and see if it has benefits now moving on to sounds which is very interesting i keep everything pretty low these are my settings the most important one i would recommend is turning off footstep sounds as that can be really annoying on some scenarios play with whatever you want you can also have different sounds for your body and headshots i recommend keeping something like this uh, this one is basically how quickly the hit markers will sound. So how short of a delay between the sounds will play. This is for kill confirmed. So when you do kill the bots, some poke boss in heroes uses, don't use a hit mark system, but they use a kill confirmed system. So it could be useful to have this on. I also recommend turning off any spawn settings. This is what I use. I use none for any of these. I don't want to hear any extra sound. I just want to hear when I hit, when I'm on target or not. I personally disable spawn sounds. Audio buffer for size i would just put to max i don't know exactly what this is and this is just default two is fine ui is very interesting you can click move hud elements to move these things around to suit your needs i personally keep everything as basically far away from the center as possible to focus in the middle you can also click on and off these different things here these are my settings feel free to copy them uh, some people are very creative. Uh, some people posted their palettes in my Discord and they look really, really nice. These are just mine. I just pretty much have the default. There's nothing really important here in MISC, but there's one thing I do want to go over and that is actually this one. Time until all nice scenarios are refreshed. So basically the higher this number is, the less frequently Kovacs will update your scenario list. And if you want to know how to update your scenario list manually, you go to online scenarios and then just reload, re-download this list and it'll do the exact same thing. So that's it. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video consider joining my discord or subscribing for some aim coaching if you like the way i analyze and break down my videos done